Earlier today, the president defended his daughter and advisor. Watch. Early on, and for a little period of time, Ivanka did some emails. Uh, they weren't classified like Hillary Clinton. They weren't deleted like Hillary Clinton, who deleted 33. She wasn't hiring. She wasn't doing anything to hide her emails. Well, we can all agree that what Ivanka did was pretty thoughtless, but is this even in the same ballpark as Hillary Clinton? The panel is here to discuss from the Greg Gutfeld Show, where she serves as correspondent. Kat Timp is here, along with former Ohio State Senator Capri Cafaro and Fox News contributor Rachel Campos Duffy. Um, so, Rachel, I will start with you. I don't like that people are trying to excuse what Ivanka did, just like I don't like how they're trying to conflate it with what Hillary did. These are two very different instances. It, they are very different. She never tried to hide these emails. In fact, she turned them over for historical record. Um, the, there were 33,000 uh, emails. There were a couple dozen of Ivanka's, or several dozen is what we've been told. Um, it, she didn't have it in her basement. I mean, there are just so many differences. And re remember, she is not the Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. She did not have classified information. And she also couldn't generate classified no, information. She couldn't all. generate top secret information or redesignate. Uh, some of the stuff that crossed her desk, which Hillary Clinton could. So is it the same thing, Capri? I don't think it is the same thing. I mean, look, and as a Democrat, let me tell you this. Back in early 2016, when I re actually recall um, Hillary Clinton talking on Meet the Press, and mm -hmm. she, she said, well, you know, um, this was the same server that my husband had. I thought to myself, this is 2016. Are you kidding me? You guys left office in 2000. What are you talking about? AOL dial-up? <laughs> this is not the same thing, yeah. okay? And so, look, the content of what Ivanka Trump may have in her Gmail or Hotmail or whatever she has is different than having a private email server. Yeah. And I think that is the difference. Now, again, that content may be open to a, a freedom of information request, for example. Sure. Yeah. But it it's not be. the same. We should be able to see all that stuff. I think Absolutely. everyone should save it. Uh, it's, it's a bad look. It's, you know, the house is not on fire. The sky is not falling. It's a dumb thing to do. Uh, but everyone does it. Why is that? Even even when you're given pretty clear instructions and you've seen how destructive something like this can be, why why do people still use private email accounts for right. White House business? See, I agree with everyone on this panel who has said that it's not the same thing as what Hillary Clinton did for all the reasons that everyone already explained. I think what everyone is missing, though, is that this is hilarious <laughs> this is so funny i mean her dad ran an entire campaign for wanting to lock up. someone up for this <laughs> and then she's she's going to use her private email anyway i mean listen to your dad i listen to my dad all the time and it's kept me out of a lot of trouble but listen to your dad i thought they were supposed to be best buds i don't know if i, I think we should all unite as a country mm -hmm. and just laugh and laugh and laugh i but think she is though because she posted like a instagram today of her like making Making s'mores with her kids or something. But so. I mean, you know what's really sad? I think she's though. turned the page on I love it. S'mores. What's <laughs> sad s'mores is not it. s'mores. S'mores are fantastic, as are pies, because we're coming up on Thanksgiving. But what's sad is that we are continuing to talk about emails and these intricacies, and there's so much that we need to deal with no, it's, as it's, a nation. It's, it's funny because both sides have completely reversed course. Now yes. Republicans are outraged uh, that anyone would be upset about someone sending and receiving emails, but they were so outraged by Hillary Clinton's email server, rightly so. And now the left is like, this is the worst thing ever to happen in the world, and she needs justice, and the House needs to investigate her. Which is hilarious. <laughs> I, I think what conservatives who look at this are outraged about is that the media is so unfair in it. I mean, the mm. media should be able to be clear-eyed about this. Mm -hmm. And they're sort of in, I get it for partisan Democrats that they're like, Kacha and they think it's right. funny and they want to nab her on it or they want to get some political well, they advantage want, like, over it. justice. But, yeah, like but Alex Camerata, whom I, I normally like and appreciate, who used to work here, is like, well, when they chant lock her up, who are they talking about? It's like, come on, lady. But the, but the, media, should be, but the media should be able to make that, these very clear differences. One is classified, one is not. One was a secretary of state, the other is a 
advisor to the mm -hmm. president. We all one know. is an email account, the other was a series of uh, president. And that is That's the right. difference. Yeah, that I is agree. The difference. That is that is the main difference. And let's stop acting like those two things are the, are the same because they they are not. You know what is the same? The greatness of the panel and the deliciousness that they bring. Their supple logic. Returning after the break. Are you heading home for the holidays? There's a good chance you're preparing for battle too. We've got some tips on how to talk politics over Turkey after the break. You don't want to miss a moment. Well, you don't have to talk about SEX, but I'll tell you what, there are three NFL football games scheduled on Thanksgiving, but the toxic political environment means that this year some of the biggest hits could happen at the dinner table. According to a new survey, 53% of Americans find political disagreements stressful, and unfortunately, not all of them drink, so they have no way to cope. So what can people do to get through Turkey Day without throwing Uncle Bill out the window? <laughs> the panel is back. Kat Capri and Rachel. Um, Kat, I will start with you because a, a lot of people say, well, the easy thing to do is just avoid talking right. about politics. I think that's escapism. I think that's avoiding some really fun conversations. And I think there's a way of turning the bus around. What do you think? I wish that my family talked about politics during Thanksgiving. What do they talk about instead, if they're not talking about politics? Instead, they're like, Kat, when are you getting married? And then I'm like, I don't even. You're from the Midwest. And then I'm like, I don't even have a boyfriend. And then they're like, so how's your cat? Which is like the saddest transition of all time. And then I eat more stuffing while they all stare at me feeling bad because they all already have multiple children. Do you take your cat with you? No, he stays home. Okay. But I would love, and I'm a libertarian. There's no other libertarians really in, you know, there's like maybe 14 of us in the world. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be agreeing with anyone. Well, but I would rather argue than have people feel sorry for my cat life. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That's but just the honest answer. That's Michigan, the fun though, thing about right? yeah. being so what about a, a libertarian. Ted Nugent. I, yeah, will he be at your Thanksgiving? Yeah, Ted Nugent comes to all of our family gatherings. <laughs> but isn't he a libertarian? Yeah, isn't it? So it, it's you, Eminem, and Kid Rock. I was yeah. going to say, and, and Ted Rock. Nugent. Yeah. And, Ted and Bob Seger, of course. He brings wow. the turkey. Every Ooh, day. Yeah. Rock. Yes. Ted killed the turkey for you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Ted shoots shoot the turkey with the bow and arrow. And then and Bob and Seger and fries it up. I love that we have the entire <laughs> list. <laughs> All the way down the line. I um, want to go to Thanksgiving at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So uh, you, you are from a family of Republicans. How have you coped in years past? Look, I mean, you just kind of deal. Yeah. I mean, I... Do you try and find common ground? Is that the key? No, you just... What is the key? The key is to stuff your face. That's right. I mean, your key is to stuff your face and be like, Oh, look, we, dinner rolls. Right, exactly. You, no, no. Look, that whole map of like the Midwest has like dinner rolls as their favorite side, not so much. Mm -hmm. And look, in, it, in Italian world, you have both turkey and rigatoni. Mm -hmm. It's like, and then you have ham for Easter and rigatoni. Mm -hmm. But you know what I do? I just, I'm leading up to Christmas here. Sure. You know what I got my dad? Hey, dad, guess what? The Fox Nation. Like subscription, subscription You're package. You're a good person. Good for you. And that is how I avoid conflict because I'm like, look at these rocks glasses say Fox News on them. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can drink your eggnog yeah. out of it. Now um, <laughs> I, I'm guessing in in your house you've got eight children. Are yeah. you are you raising them to be? political beasts you can't you know there's no way to avoid that their mom's on fox news their dad's a conservative you know member congressman. of congress yeah. congressman um it's a very political environment we like for our kids to have those kind of conversations and we talk about a lot about civility and politics mm -hmm. if you don't learn how to be civil around the dinner table how can we expect people then as they grow up to know how to have these kind of civil discourses i think for the adults who go back to like their childhood home which we all do occasionally go back to mom's house for thanksgiving and your siblings are there i think the danger is that we often turn into that 15 year old you know and so yeah. it's about acting your age remembering I'm, I'm 47 <laughs> um, and and being be, being mature and respectful I am always amazed when people do get mad like what the breaking right. point is because mm -hmm. I don't like to push I do like to find common ground I love having these conversations I love talking mm -hmm. about politics but you know you were talking about being a libertarian because with the ultra liberals with the progressives you can talk about criminal justice reform right and you know with the ultra conservatives you can talk about economic freedom 
Yeah, absolutely. And the Second Amendment. Absolutely. There's, as a libertarian, there's something about me for everyone to hate, but there's also <laughs> something about so me for everyone to love. To love. Yes. 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 I mean, you do something right. I just yeah. focus on that's the right. negative from time to time. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. We, would, it, we wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies, thank you. So It is ladies' night. It is it ladies' is. night. Work, work, work. So uh, thank you so much, Rachel and Capri and Kat. Thank, thank you. you. Tropical Storm is up next. Please stay here.